Sound guys are still making movies, kind of like they always were, burying microphones in bits of earth, setting fire to things and whooshing them around just to see what the sound is like. It's uh, excellent as something that's focused directly at sound because lots of the time they're kind of generically based around film or TV. The people that you, you, you've got down here is amazing for the first year, so I just can't wait to see get bigger and better. Having something where we can come and talk about something more specialist and particular areas of the sound making process is you know, excellent. This is the hallway uh, leading to the auditorium for the Short Sounds Film Festival. So pretty much everyone is walking down this hallway. I wanted to use the spatial aspects of this long skinny room uh, to give a sonic experience to people walking through it. There are these sensors set up, they're motion detectors. So if I'm to walk in front of this, I have a new element appear from just this speaker alone. So it really comes to my foreground and I can listen to how that's uh, changing the feeling of the overall texture. And lastly we have this marionette hanging down the front. So you'll, if you stay here you'll see how all the sound changes as I approach the marionette. And the award for best score at Short Sounds Festival 2017 goes to Katmandu by Jacob Kirby, composers Matthew Carcenti and Jason Kunwar. <laughs> best sound design. Relevant. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, here we go. Kathmandu, sound editor Philippe missed it, and Ye Matt Yoakum. Best sound editing award for the Short Sounds Film Festival is Frolic and May. Jury award for best film is Frolic and May by Danny Madden. Original score not produced for picture. And the winner is Darker Days by Glenn Nichols. Woo! Whoa! Rock and roll home, go get up here again.